Oh my God. That is the biggest freaking praying mantis I've ever seen in my life. Look at the freaking size of that thing. He's huge. <laughs> Test. All right, YouTube, y'all wanted some more videos here of field work. So this one ain't nothing glorious, ain't nothing special, but this is how I make my money. I do a bunch of this small stuff here. So, got the 350 out. Why? Because I love this crap out of that SA200. I love this little spool gun setup right there. I'm going to show y'all I'm using it on this aluminum trailer back here to put a mud flap bracket on it. It's not glorious. It's not awesome work. It's not, you know, the greatest stuff in the world, but this is the real work right here. This is what you will do. If you start your own welding business, this is how you make your bread and butter. Right I got here. my Millermatic WC3 controller with my Spoolmatic 2 spool gun. I actually put a little, um, a little TIG cover thing over it. This is just a cheap one off of Amazon made by Yes Welders. It's a simple denim one. I did this just to, just to cover it just to put something over it to help protect it. It doesn't have to be the greatest thing on earth. It just has to cover it, right? I didn't want leather because the leather, the leather gets too, gets bound, gets too, um, how do you say it? You get really stiff and weird and it wants to sit in one spot and stay the same. So the denim is a little bit more flexible. So I went with that. It kind of is a good balance of having protection but not having protection on it. It's a good middle ground. Have WC3 controller. It now has Argon Quick Connect to 100 feet of Argon. Weld, weld Lead Quick Connect. Okay, you know, that right there. One ten DC coming off the SA200. There's no fan, there's no need for a fan in that thing. Your wire control is on the gun itself. Look at that. How awesome is that right there? And we take our little uh, voltage sensors. If we're running on constant current, we have to have a voltage sensor to kind of cheat not having constant voltage. So what there's a little thing and there's a little board in there that will rapidly change our wire feed speed within a certain parameter to mimic constant voltage because as you move slightly in and out as your arc length changes your amperage needs to change so there's a basically a set of resistors and all that sort of stuff in there that changes the wire feed to keep the arc constant that's what constant voltage does it keeps the arc constant in a very in very much the same spot constant current does not the arc will get bigger and shorter as you get closer and pull as you get closer to it and pull away the arc will stay the arc will um the distance of the wire will stay the same on constant current if i'm explaining all this correctly so so far it's been a really good setup and it allows the sa200 to do a whole lot more than originally intended and lets it compete in the modern world and it will really compete in the modern world once I finally break down and buy a remote for that thing and I have a remote it'll really be competing in the modern world. does run on DC because that's just a nine inch angle grinder motor in there. The blade I'm using, this is the wood and metal kind of burnt out. But it's the wood and metal blade from Diablo and I find the wood and metal combination one, it cuts aluminum just as well as it does steel. 
And if you gotta cut something that's wood, it ain't no big deal, right? It's just, it's a, and it's a cheap blade. It's cheaper than the dedicated metal one. It's like $20, the dedicated metal one now up to like 40. So it's a, this is a good combination and it's a fantastic saw for cutting metal. And this saw is only like, last I checked was right about $200 and the metal cut saw is three, 400. So this definitely went down. Makes a bit of soot. I 
I think it's just, it's the, really it's the nature of 5356 wire. It really likes to soot. I'm going to eventually, once I run out this 5356, I'm going to switch to 4043. Next thing, I'm going to weld the back and I'll drill the holes put that muff flap on. One of the things that really sucks about this bull gun is the really weird long tip it uses. And then you got to like dig it out of this thing and it's hot as all get out. You got to wait for it to cool to replace it. And these things aren't cheap. They aren't as... They aren't as cheap as normal spool gun tips, but I could buy the Profax ones. Profax still makes these. I put the part number in my original video. But you can... My original video about this is what I mean. About the spool gun controller and everything. You can get them on, on um, Amazon cheaper if you get the Profax ones than the, than the Miller ones. So now I just got to wait for this thing to cool off and I can put the new tip on. Now, be fair, this was the tip that was in it when I bought it because it still has the Miller marks on it. Flip it over, you can see that right there, the little Miller marks. New one's in. Cool thing about this is you can actually set where the contact tip is going to be by adjusting this in and out and it kind of sets your stack. It's pretty neat. They kind of thought of everything with this full gun. The thing I started doing, I keep my helmet, my gloves, and everything I need. You know, face mask, got extra lenses and batteries, and respirator, knee pad. I started keeping all that general safety stuff, and extra safety glasses, little mini fire extinguisher, spare welding cap brushes sunscreen for the summer that's a must have sorry keeping all that in this bucket right here so literally all right i'm gonna go from one truck to the other just pick up this bucket take it to the other there truck you go guys there. boom just like that two hundred dollars and before everybody starts freaking out yes the mud flap is actually supposed to be that way that angle iron is supposed to be tilted that way customer specifically requested it this way that's why i done it this way thank you guys right. for watching another video if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe and y'all have a fantastic day